hello everyone and welcome to the incredible episode 20 uh of the pokemon a to z series uh you made it to me. 20 dude awesome. i know episode 20 uh here with me i have an incredible co-host uh the jordan of the jordan vgc channel please say hello i'm the jordan plays on youtube what's up folks you all probably already know me uh, indeed, I'm I a do draft have a few player. people from outside of um, the VBL watching, uh, so they may have seen other content that we've made together. Um, but it's always great to you know bring um, some awareness to, especially some of the cool players in the VBL uh, to my friends outside of it, as well as some of my friends outside the VBL to the team within it. Uh, so for and someday when the algorithm finally shines upon you and gives you 10,000 subscribers, then they'll all go to my channel too. So that'll be great. That's the dream. That's the dream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm, um, you know, getting you before you uh, head on your holidays. Uh, and we have a really high power level um, duo this season. We have Basque Legion, who is just an absolute offensive powerhouse in the format. And speaking of offensive powerhouses in the format, uh, we have the sibling to our previous episodes Pokemon, uh, a Shifu um, Single Strike. Now, do, which of these Pokemon would you like to uh, break down, the Basque Legion or the Shifu? Let's get into this Basque Legion. Sure. The new guy. So? So I was impressed. Uh, like, so as soon as Reg, Reg D dropped, I've run one ladder team. I'm mainly a draft league player. And I had Basque Legion because I thought oh, this guy looks cool. I did Choice Band with Tor Tornadus, Adaptability, and it just destroyed everything. Like, it's a really, mm. really excellent Pokemon in terms of fundamentals. Good stats, good moves, uh, good typing, and particularly with Urshifu Rapid in the meta. Um, yeah, Wave Crash last respects. Um, and then I, in Draft League, recently fought a Basque Legion female, which is in practice just a, a downgrade to Basque Legion male because its best moves are physical, and Basque Legion female is just, it reduces its attack for its worse special attack. But I realized, like, fighting Basque Legion female was also hard, like, because mm. adaptability makes all of its moves strong, assuming you're uh, using stab moves or terroring into new stab moves. So, like, it's really good, both in a variety sense and in just in terms of bread and butter, it can compete on ladder. So I think it's just like a really good Pokemon. Absolutely. Yeah, really, really solid fundamentals. It does have some pretty reasonable support uh, in the sense of Icy Wind. Uh, Psychic Fangs has utility against, uh, especially if you're running obviously against a screens uh, version of a team, but it does give you that. Um, it doesn't require you to be built up to last respects to deal with something like an Amoongus. Uh, it uh, also has uh, Soak, which can be really interesting in terms of um, application on different team compositions. Uh, really good for removing Pokemon who uh, may have like a, uh, you know, complex water resist, you know, if someone's got uh, something that resists both water and flying for like a Pelipper on a rain team, then Soak can remove the, that flying resist, which can definitely offer good utility, um, though it does fail into Terra. Uh, and then scary face is okay tail whip is something which maybe is better on the female version simply because this mon is probably going to be getting more than uh, removing a third of something's hp by clicking an attack um, but if it's really struggling into one opposite mod then that's an option in terms of other um, like stab options in the previous episode i have one of these on the team uh, with terra blast fairy i think terra blast is on a choice set generally going to be your main move of choice was that also your experience on your team? Yeah, I may have to expand my repertoire of what Basque Legion can do because my one ladder team using it, it was banded, and essentially if Basque Legion was getting to move, I was probably winning the game. I didn't even need to be clicking last respects because banded wave crash is just that strong Absolutely. with adaptability. So uh, I, I mostly just clicked wave crash. I had the terror rock head smash, which was silly, but it did catch people in a closed team sheet best of one scenario. Yeah. Um, so like, I think this guy is bulky enough that we could not just run it as a bashing your head in type of mon. Uh, sure. Icy Wind could be cool, but uh, I wonder, maybe could, could this guy just be Citrus Berry? It doesn't have like a boosting move, but it could just uh, try to use its raw stats. Yeah. I wonder if uh, if Wave Crash just makes it, though it wants to just have the one big hit. Certainly Wave Crash, I think, um, plays into that pretty well. Citrus Berry also um, does an adjust with Wave Crash because it means you have the ability to take less from recoil in practice mm -hmm. um so that that's definitely a strong option um but yeah i think this mon really appreciates teams where it has either some degree of speed control or some degree of uh, damage mitigation 
Um, so our other big Pokemon today is the, the big bear, uh, Ashifu. Uh, so similar to the last one, um, close combat is a defining thing paired with its functionally 75 base power crit move, uh, which is Wicked Blow. Um, though this one does also have, uh, as I mentioned, Sucker Punch, which synergizes really well with a Sword Stance set in ways that Aqua Jet doesn't as much with the other Oshifu. Um, and then it, this mod has really decent coverage, uh, mostly because its dual stab is easier to resist, so Terra Fairy covers it uh, as a rule, and then you have to um, tech on options like Iron Head or Poison Jab, uh, or depending on the shape of the meta, something like Fire Punch or Ice Punch to deal with those checks. Um, and Wicked Blow did have a base power drop since last generation. But yeah, I think that you really often see this Pokemon running Black Glasses with Terra Dark and taking advantage of those really, really strong Sucker Punches and those really, really strong Wicked Blows in close combats, paired with the Sword Stance or a Bulk Up. Uh, it does have Truth. some other yeah. support options. You know, like in Draft, I've seen someone run Snarl. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting set. Um, uh, for, uh, no, False Swipe's not the move. I was looking at yeah, if you're uh, if you're playing this in a draft league, you should totally take advantage of its its lovely set of moves. Like lots of different coverage that might be situationally useful um, in a you don't know what you're about to fight type of setting, which is the latter. It's hard to not say I should be clicking Wicked Blow as much as possible, and I should be trying to make Wicked Blow as strong as possible with Black Glasses or with Terra Dark or with Sword Stance. Yeah. Wicked Blow CC, definitely the um, the bread and butter. Uh, and yeah, Detect is also like a reasonable thing because it can play around uh, in prison, which if you've been uh, watching some of my recent episodes, you've been seeing a decent bit of other people being bringing in prison. Um, so yeah, these Pokemon both really, um, really love, uh, well, they do a lot of damage and they really love teams, which enable them to get multiple hits of damage off through, like we said, that speed control or that um, like control of game state. So I know one of the main things that we discussed previously was getting like a pretty solid, um, I'm forgetting the English language, a pretty solid screen setter for this team. Uh, yeah. So I think these mons, like they could definitely play fast. Like we talked about banded wave crashes and going all in on the wicked blow, but sure. like they both have reasonable bulk stats and like, mixed bulk and they have good typing synergy as in uh, Basque Legion's weaknesses to Ghost and Dark are resisted by Urshifu and Urshifu's weakness to fighting is immune by Basque Legion so these mods I think could play flexible we could have switches, we could have an intimidate we could have a screen setter, we could have the space for Urshifu to actually click the sword stance so I, I think we should try to lean into that as these are two good Pokemon that don't force you to play all out yeah, I definitely think there is a lot of value into indexing on that. Um, so, Oh, I love that. With a Protect? Yeah. Yeah, so there is the option of Protect, and then there's the other offensive option. I, I, I think without Terra Blast, I kind of want to index on that um, Terra Water option. Um, oh, yeah. It, it's not particularly good with adaptability, so going from, instead of the one point... Uh, so in, instead of going from 1.5 to 2, which is what it does otherwise, it goes from 2 to 2.5. Uh, sorry, 2.25, which is not a massive boost, but there are situations where that boost is significant enough. And at the point, at this point, I don't think I currently have a separate compelling Terra for it um, without Terra Blast, but I'm definitely obviously open to changing that at some point. Uh, and then I think the investment is going to index pretty strong on its physical attack, but how much speed versus how much bulk we run is probably going to depend on what our speed control options look like and whether we feel um, particularly pushed to run speed to deal with some of the um, other mods, like a, certainly um, whether we're worried about, uh, my, I'm forgetting the English language, Landorus was one of the Pokemon where it's in that sort of speed tier, Rillaboom is another Pokemon that's in that sort of speed tier. Certainly with Terra Water, you'd maybe want to consider running a decent bit of speed to cover a lot of the bulkier Rillaboom sets. Um, and Denight is another mod. Uh, Terra Water is nice because it means that you don't die to crunch from uh, Chen Pao, uh, but yeah, and then oh, I definitely yes. think that, uh, so are, are we going in on um, dual stab sword stance? So if we, it, like, I think the best overall, you don't know what you're going to uh, face is, yeah, close combat, wicked blow. Uh, at, if we were trying to lean in into this bulkier screens variant, if we had sword stance, could we run drain punch? 
it could be reasonable. Yeah, Drain Punch is Drain Punch is fine. It definitely synergizes. Well, it removes the anti synergy from the close combat defense drops. Yeah, uh, I think that with this we gravitate maybe towards Terra Dark, but maybe even towards something like a Terra Poison or a Terra Fire. True, exactly. Uh, so the thing is about like in a fast paced game, which every game involving Fluttermane and Chen Pao tends to be that way. Uh, we want Sucker Punch, right? We don't want to invest a turn of Sword Stance and then just die the next turn before we do anything. Um, so I feel we need Sucker Punch. If you're playing Urshifu, you should have Wicked Blow. I want the Fighting Stab, but like po Terra Poison, Poison Jab would also be there. I feel like this this mine is struggling for move slots. Yeah, well, look, I feel like in the medium speed game, so there, there are, for one thing, a lot of fairies in the format which are not weak to Poison. Um, Flutter Main being foremost yeah. among them but you know Mimikyu isn't weak to poison uh, it's the same typing as flutter main i'm just now remembering um, <laughs> there are a couple of the fairies in the format though i don't think any are as prominent as those two like i genuinely i can't think of another fairy that is more prominent than Mimikyu other than flutter main not to say that there aren't others just that those two are the best um so i'd probably gravitate maybe more towards an iron ahead than a poison jab Though I feel like Wicked Blow is very good uh, in this point because, like, what what are other fairies in the format? Like Hatterene sees some usage, um, but that's not a Wicked Blow resist. You then like dropping down to like Sylveon, which is 0.6% usage. Um, Screamtail 0.7, which is also neutral to Wicked Blow. I, They're I mostly feel... Fluttermane. Come on, <laughs> it's mostly yeah. Fluttermane. Well, well, Poison Jab isn't covering Fluttermane. Is was more the common. Yeah, that's so. So, I, so poison as a purely defensive Terra, it's probably Urshifu's best, and probably is reasonable. I'm going to see if a plus two sucker punch, how well it does into Flutter Main, because sure. it might even be at all we need. Even if a Terra's fairy, it might be a huge amount of damage. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to see a Black Glasses um, Urshifu getting a, an Oko with sucker punch. Um, so certainly. We have the option of Terra. Um, so it seems like with Terra Dark, it really depends on the um, the Flutter Main spread. Obviously, the singles counts only has really the um, the very offensively invested ones, which is not as much what you tend to run into on ladder unless they've got a Focus Sash. Yeah, I hear the wave is to put bulk on them for particular things. So <laughs> Terra uh, Black Glasses Sucker Punch has a chance to Oko Flutter Main, and so at plus two, even Terra Fairy, we have a chance to Oko, but I think in practice we would fall short. I wonder if that means this guy needs a Life Orb. Um, or, I... or does it need Terra Dark? Because Terra Dark is the key calc. I mean, if Flutter Main yeah. is showing up to half of the games we play, then Terra Dark is how we Oko the Flutter Main, sure. uh, both from, at, from the start or after a Swords Dance if it's Terra Fairies. Yeah, it seems like Terra Dark is is pretty compelling as well. But then we're just gonna die. We're just gonna die to this thing if we don't have redirection. Even then, we're gonna die through uh, to Dazzling Gleam, aren't we? Do we die to Dazzling through um, like a screen? Because obviously we, we are thinking about screens. Uh, and there's always the option of running Detect instead of Sword Stance, and then just being like, okay, my partner Pokemon will KO you. Yeah, but I wanted to be interesting. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, like, <laughs> we're, 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 we're willing to consider everything, right? Um, we're just talking through different options. So certainly one of them is having the Urshifu. I mean, we could run Iron Head um, and chuck an Assault Vest on and then probably pretty reliably live. Um, certainly we wouldn't be getting like the same plus two calcs, but then the Iron Head would be getting out damage. Assault into Vest options. Urshifu. I think it all comes to the down to the calc versus Fluttermane. This is why I don't play on ladders, because if it can't really compete with Fluttermane, then it's it, it's got a hard time justifying itself a lot of the time. Yeah, well, I, I think that most teams probably want two mons that are reasonable checks to Fluttermane. Um, not to say hard checks, hard, hard stops to Fluttermane. I, I think most of my teams tend to have two reasonable checks to Fluttermane, and it's not very difficult to get them onto a team, um, yeah. but it is important. Um, certainly like I'd gravitate towards. Um, I, I think that we were previously discussing putting Klefki on the on the team as that um, trick room setter. Yeah, and then a few minutes before we started recording, this is the guy, this is the, the screen setter that has typing synergy with Urshifu that won't die to Flutter Mane immediately. And in a draft league context, you might not be able to afford Grimmsnarl after Urshifu and Basque Legion. So Klefki is a totally reasonable, one of For the sure. better prankster screen setters. 
uh, and then I'll probably throw Thunder Wave on that last slot because you know what we were seeing was doing pretty good damage to Fluttermain? We could blow. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Urshifu just needs to be, just needs to outspeed Fluttermain, which it does after T-Wave, no problem. Sure. Um, can, can we get it to outspeed Booster Fluttermain? I think we just fall just short, which is sad. Speed Booster. I mean, because yeah, Fluttermain gets seen... over 300, which is very sad. I mean, I haven't seen a whole lot of Booster Fluttermain. Uh, 300, okay, yeah. We, we definitely do fall just short on that Booster Fluttermain version. Um, because if we throw Paralysis onto that, it is hitting 153. So we could run a Jolly set for that speed calc specifically if that is something that we're particularly concerned about. Though, I don't know if I we think are Sucker particularly Punch concerned and about Black is just Yeah, it just makes us inclined to, if yeah. we can outspeed, we click Sucker Punch. Yeah, and the amount of speed it has to run really cuts into the bulk, which otherwise makes Fluttermain compelling. Um, so I think that this is, I think this is fine. Um, there may be better I would think that Urshifu well. with no speed investment probably hits the speed benchmarks it needs to after T-Wave. Like it, it outspeeds everything that's not boosted on its own. My... So at that point, that gives you the full, the space to hit Sword Stance. Um, so I'm not sure that. Uh, so yeah, well, I don't know if we want this uh, Shifu to be entirely reliant on being next to Klefki. Um, would be part of my thoughts. I'm down with coming with a specific speed tier to go for. I think, like we were mentioning earlier with Rillaboom. Um, maybe going in that sort of speed tier where you see some of the bulkier Rillabooms run, um, which is not going to be a whole lot of speed. It's probably going to be, I think, about 70, 72, uh, not 72, 68 then, um, where you see some of like the Assault Vest Rillabooms that take on a decent amount of speed. The like 164 speed variants that hit, hit I believe, 124, 125. Uh, and then this will give us the up on that, and then we can then put the rest of that into HP and then that for defense. As someone who doesn't play on ladder, sounds fine to me. I'm just thinking when we have Basque Legion, I am tempted to put a lot of respect into Rillaboom. Okay, got it. Yeah, so we, we still want another offensive answer. Is this a likely uh, team, or Flutterman? is this ever not a likely team? Uh... But currently, I think we it's a bit optimistic for us to say that Urshifu and Basque Legion are making it to turn six to eight, and if so, like if the game isn't decided by then. Yeah. So it's a bit optimistic, but if, if we keep leaning in with a bulky Rillaboom of our own or something, then yeah. maybe. It's definitely an option. Um, certainly Rillaboom is an option. I was thinking, uh, so the main things we want now is we've gotten this like um, you know soft flutter check. We've got this um, soft Urshifu check. Uh, probably what, what we want at this point is something to deter Amoongus, um, and then like uh, some Pokemon that we can use to threaten a one hit KO into. Uh, well, we can use to threaten um, like a double up KOing Iron Hands are the sorts of things that we're looking for at this point. Um, so. I see. Like a strong fire. Yeah, type so we, we want isn't a bad option. Uh, yeah, special attacker then to be better into both Rillaboom and uh, what was the other thing you said? Um, uh, Rillaboom, Amoongus. Oh, and... Iron Hands, right? If you have, if we want to be at Iron Hands, we do want a good special attacker. We want to pressure it to Terra at the very least. So, yeah. What, what is high special attack in this format? Oh, would you look at that? It's Flutter Me. <laughs> it's actually Andy not Flutter Me. It's not that high. <laughs> uh, um. A lose to Rillaboom. No, uh, so... Volcarona. Yeah, Volcarona. Hold on. That could be good. Volcarona's fun. We would yeah. mention so is Rain a thing that people are actually using on ladder? No. Okay, good. Then Volcarona sounds good. I think i in this series. <laughs> yeah. I've run We're two. not otherwise weak to, weak to Rock Slide or anything. Yeah, this yeah this Volcarona could be good. Yeah, we're certainly not weak to Rock Slide at this point. Uh, obviously, I've yeah. run a decent bit of Volcarona at this point because... Uh, I just uh, have a problem. Wait, are people faking out this Volcarona? Um, yes. Uh, also, salt curing it with Garganarkle. Uh, <laughs> don't Garg ask me is why. It, is it, that's so series one. Garg can't keep up with Gen Garg is Pao. definitely better than um, something like Pelipper. Well, Garg, Garg yeah. sits next to, like, on a team with Tinglu and Wo Qian, and it's reasonable. It's not good. Uh, but I've so I think the, the thing that respects the fast pace of this metagame is Sash Overheat. Sash Overheat? 
That well, that was the only Volcarona I've run in, I in Generation Nine. I haven't seen compelling calcs for overheat. Are there some? Well, the idea is Volcarona just isn't lasting long enough in this meta game. Now, yeah. I, I guess with the more Flutter main shows up, it is good against that. But we have Sash, we have Rage Powder, we have Protect, Overheat, okay. and then uh, Sash Struggle Sash is about button. 2% usage as an item on Volcarona. It's yeah, heavily um, Citrus, Rocky Helmet, um, Safety Goggles. Yeah. Uh, even yeah, I mean, now that I think about it, its typing is pretty good into the things that I think of as common in the meta, like Chen Pao and, yeah, and Dragonite. It, it should be, it should be fine issue. enough if we run it full bulk. That's fine. We can do Citrus Berry good. or... Um, yeah, I often find myself just yeah, feeling the desire to run Fiery Dance because it gives you that sense of inevitability. And then... No, your Volcarone is not lasting long enough for that to matter. Well, if you're not clicking Rage Powder, it often is. Um, you know, I, I like... You know, th this is so. Yeah, I think you got to pick a side, right? Is Volcarona doing a burst of damage and otherwise supporting the team, or is it trying to beat the team? And I think you like the flexibility you can matchup do both. to match up. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good bond, but I just think of the the latter as a place where you got to go fast. I mean, and there are definitely yeah, some really you're either setting up your win con or you're supporting your win con, but like trying to do both is just trying to be too mid groundy. Yeah, well, I found Fiery Dance. Obviously, there is. You know, sometimes overheat can make sense. I don't think any of the other attacks make particular sense if with Struggle Bug. Um, Struggle Bug is setting up for yourself to be able to click Fiery Dance as well. I think this this set is going to disappoint us a little bit, but I want to see that happen before sure. I before I criticize because it seems interesting. You know, it, the, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of potential value. Tailwind, Struggle Bug, and Rage Powder, all in it's one really set. Just kind of like you, you're basically always going to be able to click a move. The question is. You know, Struggle Bug sometimes allows you to click more moves. Tailwind sometimes allows you to click more moves. Rage Battle rarely is allowing you to click bonus moves, but it definitely can uh, be value. And then Fiery Dance is just fine. The damage drop off from Flamethrower is not particularly relevant into most Pokemon uh, in the format. Um, one of the great things about the Terra Steel set is that it draws in head smashes from Arcanine um, <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, but. You know, even just getting that neutrality to surging strikes is basically guaranteeing you flame body into an Ashifu. Um, okay, yeah. I would just tear water. Why not tear water? Because it doesn't resist rock. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I just don't know the ladder enough to know that that's that relevant, but I'll trust yeah. you on that. Now, how do we not die to Bleak Wind Storm? I think that's the next thing we want to address. Yeah, I'm definitely fine with that. I mean, certainly Klefki is an option there, and then... Yeah, we definitely want something which can deal damage into it. I also do think we want a ground immunity of our own, are probably the, the last two things that we're looking at. Um, so, there are obviously two ways to not die to Bleak Wind Storm. One is to kill Torn, and the other one is to be able to sit on it. With screens, we do kind of gravitate towards wanting to be able to sit on it. What is, um, do, do you, sorry, obviously, you, are, are there interesting electric types uh, to you, or other, um, Shapes of Pokemon that resist, so potentially secondary Regi steel, Eleki. potentially an interesting rock. Let's redeem Regieleki. So here's the thing: we have two elements just, of speed control here, and they're both times two, and they both get us just short of some things that we might want. So having the Electro Web will both scare Torn a lot, I would think, uh, and would give us some some double up potentials. I ran Regieleki with with choice specs, and I thought it was actually good. But okay. in this, this team, we might do... Well, that said, yeah, if we get one turn to stay alive with the eight of screens, then specs Regieleki is actually a good Pokemon, and then we would run Terra Blast, right? Yeah, I was looking for it in usually useless moves, um, but it's just the Pokemon that's usually useless. And then what? Water or ice? Ice? <laughs> yeah. Like just for Lando? I guess if it's Amoongus. And Rillaboom. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe flying is better. I think you're more likely to get two Terra Blast flyings off than two Terra Blast ices. Okay, sure. Um, and you're still hitting that Rillaboom, still hitting a Moongus, and you're still doing okay damage to Lando. You're covering that um, Terra Grass Heatran pretty well. Um, cool. Okay. I think yeah, this probably. I, I think Terra Ice yeah. is not very uh, like capable of taking hits. The cool thing about this meta is you don't need to cover for Regieleki speeds, right? We can run this guy with no speed. Um, we still want to cover for 
something with Scar or Shifu, right? At least. But, but we don't need Shifu. to cover max speed. Is Scar or Shifu is what, 240 something? Um, probably. 244. So let's make it 245. Sure. Bulky Regielecki. Yep, nothing says bulky. Bulky like. in a lot of quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then honestly, the team straddle, uh, strides the line between like fast tempo and can uh, do things over time. Like yeah. I don't like the team. I think we either want a, a solid grass type or a solid immunity to ground. Uh, so a levitate, a flying type, or a grass type, or theoretically a bug type if there's one that you find interesting. So, if I wasn't afraid of, still afraid of Torn, uh, I would want the bulky Rillaboom. Right, grassy terrain fake out really makes this team a bulky team. Hmm. Obviously, we do but, have the to put an Assault Vest on it, but yeah, having a third flying weakness can be... Ooh, Assault trouble. Vest might be... So, Assault Vest, I assume, allows it to live a Bleak Windstorm. Yes. Uh, also, just being Rillaboom allows it to live a Bleak Windstorm. I believe Assault Vest allows it to live two. No way. I'm going to check that. Uh, well, often they're not running max special attack, but also Rillaboom is a relatively bulky Pokemon, uh, and it does tend to run a decent bit. Wow, it, yeah, it does live a Bleak Windstorm. It's not going to live two, even with Assault Vest, but... Really? It, I, well, I guess it can live an Countless uninvested Lippin. one. It can live an uninvested I one. I right now, right? Yes, I was just looking at my own calc. Um, so here's here's the, uh, the, the, the stat. If we do 252 HP, 44 Spadef, and Assault Vest, we live two uninvested Bleak Windstorms. Mm. Which I'm down with. So I've got obviously a bulkier version that I'm looking at, which covers for the invested oh, full ones. Full bulk? That, well, it's definitely probably what I tend to gravitate towards. There's also just the option of being like, okay, we have. Okay, let's just go back um, to something like this. Uh, and then, like, okay, we'll, we'll just use the fact that we have grassy terrain to live another one. You know, we have such good pivoting that it's kind of a missed opportunity to not have Intimidate on this team. Yeah. Over Regieleki, maybe? But yeah, I like Arcanine the Arcanine Hisway, maybe, as the, um, as the flying resist. Oh, I like the Regieleki, but that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do, let's do, uh... Like well, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't add another, another fire type after Volcarona, right? Wouldn't we trade the Volcarona instead? Like our bulk is accomplished through screens and fake out and pivoting and intimidate well, rather than- I was than thinking if we were trying to take- And out... we already have speed control, right? With T-Wave and with uh, Electroweb, so we yeah. could maybe get without the Tailwind. If we swapped- uh, I'm concerned uh, that Regiolaki is not a good soul special attacker on this team. Uh, I would think that Volcarona oh, okay. is a better soul special attacker on this team. Well, if you were gonna make it a special attacker, you'd give it a, a stronger move than Fiery Dance. Not really. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Oh, wait. Is Fiery Dance 80 base power? I thought it was 70. No, no. It is 80. It is 80. At 70, I think Did it, it change? Be a lot no. I don't believe it's ever been lower than 80. Okay, well. All right. Um, <laughs> clearly, we were on Charge Beam on Reggie Lucky, and then it will win. Um, don't, Easy. don't run that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there's definitely like a temptation towards the Grassy Surge on Rillaboom. Um, this gives us like a better matchup into Indeedee's, <laughs> I guess. Does give us fake out, which is nice. Um, and then yeah, we got drum beating. Uh, uh, what do other people? Yeah, I always, to? I would just default to U-turn, which is what made me think about uh, uh, Pivots, right. an intimidate. Yeah, I don't actually know what Rillaboom runs. Yeah, U-turn's definitely U -turn. a very, very um, yeah. good move on it on a Soul Vest and Citrus Berry versions. Uh, I haven't really seen much um, Grassy Seed because I just don't think that the defensive count tends to matter that much. Are we scared of Heatran at all in this team? I, I don't think so. What, for Stomping Tantrum? We could do that. For Stomping Tantrum, uh, I like. I think I'm gravitating currently towards Knockoff. I mean, we do have Urshifu, right? Yeah. Um, let's, put, let's put the Stomping Tantrum on there. Stomping Tantrum? Okay. Uh, and then, Not a lot of people are disappointed to have ground coverage. You know, that is very true. Uh, was it the 124 special 40, defense? 44, or that, that's fine too, yeah. Um, we generally chuck an adamant on it. Uh, and then we think about how much speed we want. Do you know how much speed uh, no. your uh, 
in anti spy. So, what are relevant Pokemon? I'm gonna look at Picolytics real quick. Pop so obviously, like we 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 catch Rillaboom or we catch Urshifu at minus one, pretty we could run for quickly. like a bulkier version of Goldengo. Um, we do a Stomping Tantrum, knock off the Stomping Tantrum, both cover that one. Um, there's like cover yeah, let's catch let's catch up to base a hundred. So yeah, we want to be at at least one twelve, one thirteen to catch them after yeah. E webs. Yeah. But we don't need to go excessively. I sure. think this is try. This is a team that's trying to be reasonably bulky. It it's not good against all things. I would think this team might struggle. It does also to have drum beating, which means that it can control oh, the yeah. speed um, against base hundreds itself. That gives it the ability to get to it chaos into the base hundreds pretty reliably. Uh, assuming that it is. And, and uh, do we want a defensive Terra? We, we haven't done any Terras. Or we um, haven't done you're completely correct. Terras. We haven't done any Terras besides Regilecki, Klefki. Uh, so, Klefki item, I think maybe we're looking at Light Clay with what we've done with the team. Sure, sure. Let's try. Okay. Uh, we want to slap max HP on. Um, I don't know if there is an amount of special attack we should be running to get value out of Flash Cannon. I'll look at that. You do other yeah. smart things that you know how to do. Um, Basque Legion's Terra, I think, is still wants to be water. <laughs> Terra-wise, on Klefki, Terra Ghost, I guess. It, it okay. removes our two existing weaknesses and then makes it so we can't get faked out, which could be useful in some situations, especially I'm thinking next to Basque Legion. Um, Basque Legion wise, uh, I think that we have, have the same rationale as Rillaboom, where we want it to be faster than uh, at least base 100s at minus one. Um, we could go for the Flutter. Like a so my inclination team. would always be like to to run Cover Cloak on Klefki and then to run Sash on Volcarona. And to run it in a meta as fast paced as we've got in Gen 9, that it's weird to not have a focus Sash on this team, even if it's trying to be bulky. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily gravitate super strongly towards Focus Ash in this format. There are some Pokemon it's particularly good on, though I don't think I run it all, well, certainly that frequently. Um, you know, Flutter. I think it's the best item in Draft League, but I, I, I agree. League. It definitely is an incredibly strong item in Draft League. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of reasonable spread moves in the format. I feel like there's a lot of multi-hit moves in the format. I feel like there's a lot of fake out in the format. So I don't tend to gravitate super strongly towards Sash in um, in this format. The same way I maybe wouldn't. Uh, you know, like Chien Pao is an absolutely phenomenal Focus Sash user. Um, you can use it on Chiyu to some extent. Uh, you know, Amoongus has had rare sets where it's run it. Tatsugiri is a pretty good Pokemon in terms of running it. Um, but like as I'm going down the list, I'm really not seeing a whole lot of compelling focus ash users besides obviously Regieleki um, can do yeah. that with screens itself. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, then the, I mean it's fine. Um, so I've got a, a Klefki attack investment for yep. you. The most common flutter main, uh, according to Picolytics, is at 116 HP, and so if we want a two hit KO that with flash cannon, we need a fair amount of offense. We need 196. Uh, 196 as in, in guarantees two at KOs flutter main the, the most common flutter main bulk spread all right we'll probably run special defense on this version of lefty sure all right let's go this is a team uh, actually terror ghost is not great if we're trying to check flutter main um <laughs> just terror dark for taunt from um Tornatus, Love and it. it still removes that fire and ground weakness uh we're just gonna get we're gonna lose the flutter main though <laughs> That's true. That we lose Flutter me even funny. more often. Uh, Terra Water. Okay. <laughs> Terra Water, the broken one. The best uh, no, Terra. that's random battles. Uh, are you logged into the account? Yes. Cool. Do you want to get game on? Uh, I, I've i never simultaneous... Oh, we just dropped into a game. Okay, mm -hmm. so I see the same thing we always see in every game of Regulation D. We see Fluttermane and or Chan Pao and or Rillaboom and Heatran. And probably in our Shifu water. So we see a fast paced team. We have no uh, option except to try to match their pace or to try to control them with some speed control. Yeah, I mean, Volcarona seems really good into this team. Yeah, and I think Regieleki can fit here. Um, like, it's going to get sucker punched, but otherwise, it's going to do fine. And if we can bait Terra Grass, then Armand in the back should be able to beat Terra Grass. 
Sure. And I don't Volcarona think we actually beat Terra Grass with anything except for Volcarona, which is a, a yeah. weakness of this team, I just realized. Uh, but well, it's got, it, it, it doesn't beat Terra Grass. Heatran obviously beats other Terra Grasses. And Struggle Bug is still fine into Heatran because Heatran doesn't love okay, that yeah. Volcarona. Um, but so, uh, yeah, Billy this team has an issue for Terra Grass. We'll fix that after this game. But uh, we'll put Urshifu in the back because it's at least neutral to Terra Grass. Yeah, and and uh, we'll the other Volcarona one. in lead. Um, I'm going to put Regieleki and then Urshifu and Basque Legion in back. Cool. Go look, have fun. The Elodin. Yeah, Heatran's just going to beat us up. But we're going to maybe try to successfully struggle bug and Eweb. I, I, I just want a Tailwind and Volt Switch, to be honest. Okay. Uh, I could could obviously. But how do we also. beat Heatran right now? I, I guess we just need we need well, speed control the, on it, the tailwind which is the tailwind for, part. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Did you you. We're using the volt switch to pressure a tailwind if it doesn't tear. Oh, I was thinking the volt switch. Boom! Goodbye, to right. Torn. Okay, and then uh, so Basque. We have to also bring a Basque Legion in this situation. Yeah. yeah. There's no Torn, so a sheaf is really good in the back. Wow, that did nothing, but they got a spin after. Well, we, we we would live one more. They yeah. probably have a Fluttermane, and they have a match Tailwinds. Okay, so they have a Sucker Punch. Okay. We can Terra Water, but I'm not sure if it's worth. Uh, well, we first thing to calc would be to make sure that we live. Uh, no, that's the wrong Terra. That's Are we calcing on ladder? We ain't calcing on ladder. I, um, I'm calcing right now. You... Uh, well, if you can offer something new, that would be yeah, cool. But I'm in the meantime live. likely just going to Rage Powder. Rage Powder? You don't think Fiery Dance and um, Terra Water jet into well rage the, rage powder gets us around sucker punch doesn't it it does but um don't we just want to kill the urshifu with Volcarona? we can't just kill the urshifu no but a double up i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna rage gonna powder anyways and wave crash the heatran urshifu okay well sure. i'm there's terra grass gonna happen right yeah yeah we live with our very smart calc that we calced I mean, okay. I net deck the, the calc, but not surprised that that's how it works out. I think Rage Powder was a good play. Yeah, seems to have worked Our out. Our guy's fine. alive, and I think we can E web from here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, they're mm. burnt, so we don't really care that much. Um, I Well, that's it. We can, we can just go for the it. into Heatran. Okay, um, yeah. I, I want to. Uh, All right. Sorry, I was thinking we could bring out um, our own Ashifu and then go for that play, but yeah. Um, we could just we protect switch into him on Sucker Punch. Uh, there's also the option of jetting around Sucker Punch. There's also the option of switching around Sucker Punch. I think switching the best. We don't outspeed the this Urshifu though. Well, that, that's so what I'm saying. That we're going to get Sucker Punch if we try to. Yeah, it's hard to play this game to two opinionated brains at the same time. Yeah. Um, uh, so I think if we Volt Switch the Heatran, because the Ashifu's dying to um, burn anyways, we Volt Switch the Heatran, switch Ashifu into the Basque Legion slot, and then bring Basque Legion into the Regieleki slot. You're speaking too fast, I don't know what's okay. going on. Volt Switch into Heatran, and switch Basque Legion into Ashifu. Fine. Yeah, I was going to protect was the same idea, essentially just make our Shifu not do, do anything. Yeah, I just wanted yeah, to... So this, uh, that, that was also a good play, and so now we don't have to deal with our Shifu. For sure. They are leftovers. Okay, not Assault Vest, which we probably should have told from the 26% for Volt Switch. Okay, so I'm very tempted to just go for an Aqua Jet into the Chien Pao at this point. Okay. I feel like if we break it... I mean, we're going to get Sucker Punched, aren't we? Um, well... Whatever. Maybe. Um, the main. And what amazingly, are... we still have our Terra. I think if, if we can kill the Chan Pao, then we can win with Terra Flying Regieleki. For sure. I, I so think I'm that... going to go for Drain Punch and Aqua Jet. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think we just want to um, remove any risk of the. Uh, yeah. The so the Pao. Sash is on the Chan Pao here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most likely. Because it wasn't on Torn. But that was okay. So they just looked at how low are we range. ranked here? Twelve ninety seven. Honestly, yeah, I okay. I expected better from him. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's e web, no let's terra flying. Just, just terra blast terra without terra the terra flying. Yeah. Um, so just terra blast the the Chan Pao roll, without the terra flying. Uh, no, no, probably should still just terra flying. I'm gonna terra blast and sucker punch. Uh, oh, I wait, don't I like lose it. I think they're gonna click sucker punch. I think we click terra blast yeah. flying into Chan Pao and just drain punch the heatran. Oh, we can blow the heatran rather. We because live. they should be going for that Earth Power. Oh no, they're locking to Solar Beam, which we also resist. Yeah. 
they thought we were water or shifu, I guess. Uh, and now we get the Terra Blast flying. Oh. Need to go for the correct move instead of the funny move. Yeah, so we won via we our su superior fundamentals. Uh, also, just Volcarona being able to sit on them pretty well. Um, Basque Legion, you know, like we, we took hits with all of our Pokemon, which was definitely good. Yeah, so I've never, I think in my Pokemon history, played a game two people piloting at the same time. I found it kind of overwhelming, so okay. I think you should I'll, pilot I'll the next pilot one. I'll the, pilot the next one. Um, okay, so we look at this matchup, and we we'll see that Basculation really, really kills most of the Pokemon on this team. Um, so how do we best enable it to do that? This could be an Eneleki lead. Sure, if we have something for Garchomp. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and question. they don't, yeah, so if Garchomp is out, then we always just Volt Switch the partner, right? Because yeah, we're not going to get sure. Terra grounded in, usually. Yeah, so we are we leading Rillaboom and then having Basque Legion or Shifu in the back? Sure. Okay, so they've gone for a Trick Room version of their lead. So we just get free damage. Yeah, I kind of just want to double Volt Switch and um, Drum, no, U-Turn into the Farrah Giraffe. We're going to lose one of our, our attacks, right, to a fake out. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm imagining. Uh, and we do want to try and set that switch up into Basque Legion. Okay. Uh, I hope this U-Turn KOs. <laughs> okay, so this guy is a, is a dummy. Or they may not have, um, they may be Sword Stance. Uh, so I think I want to bring Basque so Legion. So they're a dummy. I think that the Sword Stance set is definitely usable. Um, yeah, I should have gone for Thunderbolt. I'm just going to bring What is this Terra Fairy, Fairy turn one? It, sword Stance. Look, they're going to win because our team is flawed and has no answer to Trick Room because we didn't bring screens. But like, <laughs> like this I mean, is I not a good strategy. Basque Legion right? and Volt Switch Terra the Fairy, Fairy turn right? one. Why? Because eh. we're obviously attacking the Trick Room setter because our team is deathly weak to Trick Room. Yeah, the Terra Fairy doesn't even like provide them any defensive advantage into either of the Pokemon, right. as far as I can tell. Yeah. They drain punch oh, the regular. Okay. You know what? Sometimes your opponent is simply a better player than you, or something. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, all of our Pokemon are Terra Water. Um, Fairy is, is definitely trying to get us through this trick room, and we would kill the Frigoraph, and I think that's worth. Okay, this guy's. Okay. You know, uh, I, like, if that was hard calling Terra Fairy, I still don't think that was a good play, because you can Thunderbolt to get through Terra Fairy. He's actively eating glue as he's playing Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> I'm assuming their gender. They don't, don't are actively Chelsea eating 3D. glue. <laughs> you know, Chelsea 3D is. Um, you know, uh, Chossie. Chossie. My friend. <laughs> Chossie, our great friend and companion. Um, so I could definitely go, go in on protecting the Basque Legion and just getting a drum yeah. beating into Thunderous. Ugh, we have no damage onto these guys. Yeah, that's very true. We, um, we don't have knock off. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's pretty <laughs> cool. That's pretty cool. It didn't even KO the Rillaboom! <laughs> and it's Cloak. Cloak on Thunderous. Yeah. Not not super shocking. Um, we're definitely being punished for being Terra Water at this point. Um, so I guess I want to bring a Shifu in on the Basque Legion slot. And just Trum beating the, um, the Iron Hands. Yeah, being passive. That's just why I don't play that way these days. You get, you let them sword stance, and you don't kill the threat. I mean, they terra fairy <laughs> the Iron Hands turn one. Okay, the Ashifu. <laughs> I thought the Ashifu would be the one to live there, but um, yeah, I think we just would most likely die to the Thunderous here. Yeah. Obviously, the Covert Cloak is a concern. Oh no, we didn't die. We dodged. We we get to trade for the, the wave crash off. You know, we did okay. Um, what on... Uh, are they... Are they protect lost? Who knows? 
trying to predict this team is, is not really uh, worth. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Um, well, Basque Legion is strong. Uh, the Trick Room was definitely an issue. I think, yeah, I should have gone for the Thunderbolt there rather than the Volt Switch because I should have gone for a KO, uh, like a KO with a double up. That was more playing around Mental Herb rather than Citrus. Um, but I should have factored Citrus as an option. Okay, so yeah. join me oh. to Paladin. All right, our team's right. issues are Terra Grass. Are they uh, no immediate attack power. Um, well, I mean, we have immediate yeah. attack power as long as we have a Shifu or Regieleki on the field, right? Do we, though? Well, Reg oh, Regieleki is kind of a, p a particular nuke, right? It's not hitting yeah. everything pretty Oh, Leki's okay. Hard. I mean, a Shifu is pretty strong. I mean, it's black glasses, Adam and Oshifu. Um, you know, I, I think feel we like... can lean into the Reggie Alecki more and maybe just try to get more damage out of it next time. Yeah, I mean, we, we got pretty reasonable damage. I think if we had played the Reggie Alecki different, we could have won that game. All right, I'm just going to real quick win this game, okay? With Choice okay. Specs Reggie Alecki, because it's a great Pokemon. It's still good. Uh, we, we promise. Um, Spec, no, Specs Regieleki should two shot Amoongus. That was the the Regieleki I use. Cool. So we go Aleki, Volcarona, a Shifu, Basque Legion. Sure. Yeah. I feel like when our worst matchup is a Shifu Border, probably running, leading Aleki is a good idea. Wait, can we? I'm gonna. Go Regieleki, Basque Legion, because okay. I want a little bit more damage. I want a little bit, a little more threat up front. Urshifu still I just in back. Something that wouldn't die to Goldango, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, Urshifu... We aren't gonna die to Goldango, and then I'm gonna put a, a Volcarona in back. Okay. So we have to take a Tailwind, Head Smash, and or Rock Slide, which is no fun, but. I mean, we if just, we we just Electroweb and Wave Crash the Arcanine, right? The Arcanine's not going to... piloting right now? Um, I can click the buttons, if that's what you mean. Oh, we were just discussing. Okay, so... This is a team. You know what? Sometimes our opponents simply are... Incredible people and magnificent players. But this is fine, right? Like, yeah, they, <laughs> they can't do anything. I they can tailwind and it like, wouldn't save them. That's about it. I can't. Are they? I, they're probably going to spore Basket Legion. No, I, I don't. I don't even know. I can't. I already can't predict what they're going to do. So I'm just going to click the Electro Web and win. Yeah. Do we? Lost respect. I might take a protect? spore. Well, it's it's just a 50-50. So I'll just protect because there's nothing else for me to yep. do this turn. We'll see if they spore the um the Alecky. Okay. They do. But. Uh, That's fine. The reason why protecting probably wasn't the move, and maybe to switch to Volcarona, is that we still have nothing to do against the Samungus. We don't so do that's not against Arcanine with, the, with it anyways. I mean... So, Wave Crash is still good, despite Sun, because it's 4x right now. That's true. That's they true. could redirect, yeah, but I mean, they know just, that we're clicking E-Web. We e could just E-Web Wave Crash anyways, right? Yeah. Sure. You know what? That was exactly what the, the play I was predicting. Seventeen. That's a good play. The minus the minus two is is quite a problem, I think. Um. So I think so, we just, yeah we do have to swap out the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we wake up? They are getting a lot of value out of the intimidate on the intimidate Pokemon. If uh, we so wake up, finally, I really strongly then... want to terrify or fiery dance this Goldengo. But you cannot. Why not? Oh, because we're not terrified. Sorry, Terra Steel. I just meant the resist steel. <laughs> to resist rock. Yo, if we can if we successfully tailwind, then we win? Yeah, that's true. Oh, nice protect, dude. Did we, we didn't tear steel? We didn't tear steel? Well Why didn't I we tear steel? We're we're going too fast, and I don't know these mods. Okay, I said I said it, like, you know. We did discuss Terra specifically. All right. I, um, yeah, this is pretty unsatisfying to try to play two pilot games. Like, uh, it, it's... Yeah, de yeah, definitely, I think, messing with your style. It's only more than mine, which is pretty yeah. nice to it. This is, this is my problem, not yours. Um, so... I mean, we just E-Web and we Wicked Blow the Arcanine, right? Or we could Wicked Blow I, the Goldango. They're both fine. Yeah, Goldango to Goldango. 
Protect again? No, oh, Terror Water. Okay. But that's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just a dead gold anger. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That was a like a pretty sus Terror Water. It was a questionable one for sure. I think they were trying to play around Sucker, but they just weren't fast enough for that to make sense. Um, so, so entirely just... damage intuition, I wonder if Terra Dark Wicked Blow can clean up this Amoongus. But that said, we the would Amoongus? lose our Rock Fist, so it's not worth. Yeah, um, I would probably just double the Arcanine here, to be honest. Okay. If the Amoongus right. is clicking Rage Powder, that seems fine. Um, well, how, yeah, how much okay. is Basic Legion? It's, it's not burned any turns of sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that was about what I figured. Yeah, so oh they're they're disconnecting. So I don't this team was was successfully playing defensively for a bit, but I don't think yeah, it Zui and Arcanine is really that great at playing defensively, and I, I would lean into its offensive capabilities more often. Yeah, I think that the rock slide there was maybe a bit questionable um the, the Amoongus obviously died I think they should have gone for an offensive play into Amoongus to try and clean that Regieleki up and gone for a different attack into a Shifu um they were probably going to struggle to break the Basque Legion regardless if they protect on Amoongus that was definitely a strong position to click it in um but yeah so definitely yeah Amoongus is a bit annoying not having Cloak, uh, sorry, having Cloak over Goggles on Volcarona was definitely a bit limiting in that specific matchup. Um, I think if we got Terra Steel up, even if they were playing um, better, we would we win easily winning. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's the episode. Um, Basque Legion is very good. I think we have it relatively low compared to how good it is on in this. Um, at 17. Yeah, we did. We we did not show Basque Legion's two strength. I think Urshifu had a good episode uh, because yeah, it has the bulk to live even in situations that are like not its strong suits. Like it did, yeah. it it basically hit nothing super effectively, but it still did its job, just clicking Wicked Blow. Yeah, Wicked Blow is an incredibly consistent move. Very good damage. Um, so. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been a great episode. Um, definitely an interesting experience. I think this is the first time um, we've had such a, a, an interesting struggle with the um, the two player uh, version of the team. Uh, and I don't know how to go fast, man. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, you you y'all should go fast with Tailwind. You should Tailwind these guys. These guys are really good Pokemon. Yeah, uh, I think Volcarona wound up being fine. Um, uh, Reggie Lucky, yeah, definitely, definitely interesting. I might consider putting it on other teams in the near future. But yeah, definitely, everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, I have to go to work. Goodbye.